fun time bonbon oh bon boys here oh, you look okay. like every like gay male assistant oh, to supermodel like to help them get dressed for their instagram pictures and stuff you're the one in there like no not that one like that's what you look like right yeah, now. yeah i'm like the way too tall gay black guy i'm like just to listen to me so summertime Oof. fun time bonbon bon boys do you like my hair no okay yeah it's a little <laughs> <laughs> Take us home, Daddy. It makes us. You don't do make... the intro anymore. Welcome to the Police Stop Podcast. We just did I know. it. We just I did it for a couple weeks. In. I think there was a couple weeks where we did. Nobody did it. I think there's probably one where we missed one. So right, probably. I mean, you'd think probably we'd have multiple. It, you'd think we'd have it figured out by now. Two it's dudes in there. Just to roll in. Two dudes in the thirty can't put together a fucking podcast to nope. save their fucking life. Yeah, We're still we still fucking figuring the set. Yeah, dude. That, I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, set. it's looking cool now. I keep Purple scooting light. to the right, but see now we have a little screen. So I can see when I do the things that look bad for YouTube. Pro- so we're cool, professional. <laughs> I'm still yes. coming in here freshly baked, coughing on the mic all the time. Every time. Every, every time, time. Every day. Still not figuring it out. So we should have called it the Figuring It Out Podcast. Because that's what, I mean, that would actually be a really good idea. Maybe we should go rebrand. Rebrand and the Figuring It Delete Out. Delete all the weird racist shit we said. <laughs> that's like- <laughs> Um. Yeah. Okay. I need to know what you want to hear about first because I have updates to prior stories. I have an update about the tuna scandal. It's not that momentous, but I want to tie a ribbon on that. I realized after listening to past episodes, we have a really bad habit of starting a story or starting a bit and then never finishing it or never coming back to it and ending it. Um, yeah. A la the boxing that you never did and all the other. That's a good. Yeah. That's other a challenges. solid example. Um, and jokes that just we never revisited, but like, you know, we probably should, you know, tie a bow on the Keith thing. Um, no, I don't. I don't think so. No. I think we just ignore that. We just let that and just one pretend go. it didn't okay. happen. Yeah, did he really do some shit? Yeah, though okay. there's literally screenshots of like him sending his okay. dick to okay. girls. No, take, it's a, it's a no go. I'm gonna like, take that's, your word for him. Yeah, no, it's it's not. It was not good, and it turns out there is tuna in the subway sandwiches. So we don't want to slander them here, but when you cook tuna, apparently the DNA is no longer recognizable. So Which, that's not just something someone knew, like, just straight I, up? Well, they did. So, like, Subway oh, fired okay. back with, like, hey, here's why. And so then the whole thing kind of just fizzled out. Now it's, like, a non-story. So now that guy is just dumb. Yeah. There's no comedy there. It's just, like, hey, actually, you guys are fucking idiots, and you don't know how this works. So You still should not eat tuna You still from shouldn't Subway. eat the fucking tuna, but, yeah. I mean. You're, you're safe now. And then, you know, and there's, like, stories about people, like, you know, like, they're like, oh, they, you know, Subway's giving out free tuna sandwiches um, amidst the allegations, and they're trying to make a story out of that. So it's it's a non-starter. Ignore it. Good start. No. Really burning no, in t- with that one. <laughs> well, I didn't want to, I didn't want to fucking, you know, leave, leave people hanging and be like, well, I was going to go get tuna, and now I can't. But yeah, you're good. It's just fucking gross, repurposed shit. Fish yeah, they get out of the ocean just, and cook like Yeah, it's disgusting. Like, that's what you get. Have you had mm-hmm. it? Is it good? The tuna? It's fine. I had to make it though at some point in my life, so it's just like the you worked at Subway. Yeah the the action of squeezing an entire like half gallon bag of mayonnaise yeah. into a mixture and using your hands because that was how they're like we don't use tools just put some gloves on and mush that up and I'm like can I I like tuna I will get a can of tuna put some mayonnaise in it salt and pepper and just eat it like dip with pickles yeah that's all right into tuna that's all right but. The tuna, it's just, it's Subway. They're in gas stations. Don't eat fish out of a gas station, period. Yeah, gas station fish. Whether it's a Subway on a gas station or next to a gas anything fish-related, you should keep, leave it to the professionals. You know what I mean? No? Okay, yeah, I cool. just, no. I'm not a Subway guy. I <sighs> like sandwiches to that point. It's like pizza almost, to where I'll eat the bad kind sometimes just to... Get I can't. I can't be having sandwiches. I'm shredding for the wedding. I'm down three to three o three. So, back in a back in a two x shirt again. That's dude. crazy. Fucking killing it. Barely, but they're barely. There. Oh, dude, it is <laughs> tight. Let me tell you. I was like, oh, I'm gonna put this close with shirt, and I'm it is painted onto my body right now. So yeah, I mean, that's the elephant in the room, and my fucking fucked up hair. Oh, so yeah, dude. What's up, dude? I'm not sunburned. One of my ears is clogged. I feel like shit. I think I have an ear infection. So that's weird. I kind of felt cool. that way too. I think it's the smoke. Yeah. I think it's yeah the fucking everyone still lighting off fucking fireworks. They are still to this. Where? Oh. Yesterday, I live in dude. the middle of nowhere, so no one does that. Where yeah, I yeah, these motherfuckers still it's like, what are you celebrating? You know, freedom, freedom to still be able to do that. I guess right. 
Yeah, Isn't that dude. the idea behind I'm blowing so stuff up? I'm so cucked out about it now. I'm just like, we need to make it illegal. Like, I just, <laughs> I'm, oh, I just fucking flip flop. My, my poor dog. Because uh, yeah, my dog. Like a dog will affect the way I vote. And I'm just like, no, nah, dude, I'm cucked out. I don't, I don't, I it just get rid of the fourth. It doesn't seem necessary to me. It's just have one big show, one place, and that's it. Yeah. Everything, they're like, what do you need to do that for? People are like, oh, you're so unpatriotic. You don't even know what fucking patriot patrioticism is. It, it, you know what the you don't patriarchy even patri- is, though. You know what the patriarchy is, but you don't know the first thing about being American. You don't know nothing about, like, like true American shit, like hot dog waterboarding, where you take, like, you cook for a stadium full of people, hot dogs, you know, and you do the yelling, and then you take all the fucking water, and you go find a fucking terrorist, and you get secret information from him using that hot dog water. That is the most American thing you could do. Do that on the 4th of July. Interrogate a fucking ter- terrorist with reusable fucking food products. You know, d- take one out for the boys, you know? But I like it. Lighting the forest on fire, dude. My dog's terrified of the bangs. I gotta breathe the smoke. One of my ears is plugged. I feel like I'm on a ship. I have vertigo now permanently. I mean, you ever had one plugged ear? Yeah. It's the worst. I mean, I'd rather I've, have I've both been alive up. for a little bit. I mean, yeah. Like, I'd rather have both plugged up and I can lay true, on the couch actually, and get yeah. things sick. You know, I just got one. So I'm functional. I can go to work. But have you I'm tried to, like, drain tipsy. it? Have you tried to, like... Dude, I have, to, my, I have an eight-year-old daughter giving me advice. Have you tried sticking your finger in your... I'm like, yeah. No. Wow. I have... Great. Brilliant. She's like, she told me, you know, make a hook with your finger, stick it in your ear, and kind of go like this. Like, make a, like, made, like, a, almost like a... Like a hook, like to scratch. Like... I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna scratch my ear." She's like, "No, you like the suction of it." She's like, "Make like a suction cup with your finger." I'm like, "Get out of here, you're fucking weirdo!" Oh, you're gonna make me blow my eardrum. Yeah, that's so, very I mean, I, dangerous advice. I've, I've, I've tried sued. dangerous shit. I have tried dangerous shit. She's I not did... telling kids at school that, right? She, she doesn't, doesn't go. To, well, she doesn't go to fucking school. Well, She's home perfect. school. She's that's... taught by a bunch of retards. So if she turns out that way, that's because we're all idiots and we're teaching her. Oh. So hopefully that's fucking over soon. Because I am. Who? Let's just put it this way: all her teachers are not great at school themselves so you know isn't that the kind of funny though now we're at the point of like all these parents that were like these teachers suck and we could do better now all these parents are like oh mm. now we have to do better and yeah. now they're realizing oh my kid's a mon not that your kid's a monster right but most kids are monsters oh the teachers are like yeah bet yeah they're like, like fucking... cool and guess what we deal with 30 of those every class so oh dude the and now you... girls yeah we're eating square pizza terrible. and dealing with your fucking kids like... yeah absolutely terrible like Everything smells like piss, and there's Every- yelling for oh no reason. Oh, my God. I hate Everything kids. smells like piss. Why? Well, like, why, why Why does everything under a certain age, everything has piss on it? I don't get it. Dogs, Like, some babies, people aren't just teaching their kids general. how to pee the right way or not get Dude, piss we, everywhere. Uh, we work with adults that don't know how to pee. But, like, do you... Yeah, I mean, but, like, oh, my dad gets piss everywhere, so I get piss everywhere. Like, is it genetic? <laughs> like, what's... <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, he gets... up. Oh, He's just like his dad. Just like alcoholism. Just fucking, just, yeah, exactly. There's no control. Wild, is it like a wild dick? His dad wets Is it man. like shakes, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Do you get nervous? Or? They're not They're not finishing, and then some of it's getting in their pants, I think and that's, they're just rocking it. I think they're, they're disgusting. Kids. Yeah, they're just like, fruit snacks, and just, you yeah, know. Yeah, they're, they're too. trying to get back, so they don't close up all the way and finish off. They're yeah, gross. I don't know. Some, something Little doesn't work. Assholes, dude. Sit down. What's the shame in that? Sit if down you, to if pee? You, if you have a bad aim. Sit down. Oh, yeah. Well, you know or just I mean? like figure it out. Figure it out. I mean, that's how, how it's going to be But my... see, how, how you pee doesn't bother me. I don't give a shit, dude. I would rather you sit than me have to like. Do you know anybody who sits to pee? Are we allowed to shame not that? that I, not that I No, I don't think so. Oh, I think I know one person, but I can't say his name. Because <laughs> 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 people who listen know him or he, he and he listens. <laughs> so I can't say that. Yeah, I know. It starts with C. Don't... Rhymes with egg. Oh, yeah. I, think I, know, I think I Rhymes remember being that. <laughs> I've right? heard stories. Yeah. yeah that he... But other than so, that, no. <laughs> I think it's a, even by yourself, you feel shame. Even if you're drunk, though? If you're really drunk? I don't think I've ever sat down to pee, dude. I mean, That's I mean, crazy. No. Not one time. <laughs> Maybe I was sick. Like, violently ill what or do you mean? anything. As, like, as, as, you know, wise men once said, you know, uh, not all pee-pee times are poopy times, but all Poopy times or peepee times. So, oh, have you ever I, met a freak that doesn't have that? that, that there's just, people in the world that are like, yeah, I don't have to just pee every a two time and I a shit. one, just a two, they'll, just they'll, a two, they'll just two. Okay, but what about a one and a fart? Do you? Do you? Have well, you, that doesn't really. That's a one and a fart. That's like, just by. That's just. That's a, like that's the a breath mint thing. after yeah, I've a, emptied my my bladder. Yeah, it's like it's good. That, that makes sense. It's like the gas station but attendant like, being but like, you're all you're not going to fart every time you pee or pee every time you fart, right? But, you oh, well, but no, every time you no. shit, you pee. Right. No, no matter so what. Rule, so no matter what. We need a chart already. 
We need a chart. So, yeah, because if you're peeing, you're not going to shit your shit. pants. Let's go number two. I don't want to get too crass. I don't like seeing shitting and pooping a lot. It's very gross. Someone might be eating on Are a lunch break. Are you kidding me? Well, someone That's might be your line? It is my line. I don't like crass That's stuff. That's silly. Poop is gross to me. But anyways, you know what I mean? Like, there's rules to the game. But the fart at the end is is complimentary to the pee. I, I mean, every eight, time? 80% Wait, of the time. Wait, every time? Not every time. Not every time. 80 seems high, too. Sometimes I'm feeling really empty and like lean and slippery. I'm feeling like Gumby. I feel like Gumby. I definitely got, don't look got a, like Gumby. You got a tummy full of spinach. Yeah. You're just like... Did Gumby have a fat friend? Was there a fat no, clay guy? No, he had guy? a horse. There was no fat clay guys, huh? I don't think so. Wow. Fat kids are really underrepresented in the clay, yeah, claymation You had, had recess. <laughs> That's animation. Was there, a fat, was there a fat kid in recess? Yeah, with the blonde hair, the bigger one. Oh god! I, I can't remember it. their name. It's... Yeah, I didn't. I was too old. I was. I was Probably. already watching like uh, porn, Power Rangers. Yeah, I guess that was same yeah. era for me, but that's fine. No, I don't know. I guess fat people. I mean, you had heavyweights. That I guess that was a little after your. No. What was your fun. favorite Power Ranger? Yeah, the white one. Did you ever play it at recess? Power Rangers. Like pretend you're. In the I Power slept in a Power Rangers costume for like three years straight. Yeah, see, I always get like pick. I would always get to pick the one last, and then the kids would all be running around like, Red Power Ranger, what you know, Green Power Ranger, the one would be like Black Power Ranger, and the yellow would be like Yellow, you know, Power, and I'd be like, I'm the White White Power. Yep, I always have to be the White Ranger. That's weird. The fat White Ranger. Ooh, yeah, because he's pretty athletic. But I wanted to be the Black Ranger or the blue, maybe the Blue Ranger. I didn't. I didn't have a preference really. I don't think. Well, you don't want to be the Red Ranger. I'm a team. I'm a team player. You're, so you're a Blue Ranger. I don't you're know what that Blue means. Ranger. The Blue Ranger. I don't remember. That the much. Blue Ranger was nerdy. That's, he was smart, okay. but he was personality wise, he was kind of introverted, right? Oh. I think he wanted to bang Kimberly, Pink Ranger. Well, I clearly. mean, everyone did. Right? Couldn't. But Red Ranger definitely banging Pink Ranger. Yeah. Ho- hopefully, Yellow Ranger too. Yellow Ranger and um, Black Ranger, I think, make make ablation in the end. Like if the story. Progresses. Places. Yeah, like they, but leaving Blue Ranger alone. Meaning, this is also why you're like Blue Ranger. The only person really left for Blue Ranger is Green Ranger, who is also White Ranger. Um, and those are two dudes. So oh, Blue see. Ranger's introverted it. because he's conflicted, and White Ranger is just like a buff dude with a ponytail, clearly a bottom. Um, so you and him team up. Ironically, both gay dudes are the two Power Rangers we identify with. Don't know what that says. My hair is in makes sense. pigtails. I guess. But yeah, you're Gay Blue Ranger. Gay Blue Ranger. It's fine. But yeah, okay, so quick quick sidebar, though. Maybe, you know, 20, 15 years later, Power Rangers is still popular. My nephew loves Power Rangers. Eating dinner, Mexican restaurant. All the kids are screaming about Power Rangers. Someone stands on the table. Red Power. Someone else stands on the table. Yellow Power. Trey. Stands on the table at the Mexican restaurant, picks the White Ranger. Yeah, of course. Screams white power in the middle of a Mexican restaurant <laughs> in North Idaho. So that happened, and I think about that a lot. Uh, every day. Every time I think about Power Rangers, I think about that's Trey screaming white power yeah, in, the, in the... I mean, classic. Kids. couldn't eat more salsa, couldn't look down more. I couldn't, you know what I mean, quick scan, looking for anyone with, you know slightly dark complexion and then just burying my face in salsa and pretending I don't know this child. I mean, he has, I mean, if, if you've ever seen Trey Hitler youth haircut, blue eyes, piercing blue eyes. Eww, not a good You know look. what I mean? Yeah. Wh- uh, bl- white blonde hair at the time. Yeah. You know, very like, not a good munch. So, that was fun. Wrangle up your kids. Teach them. Just tell them. Just be like, hey, sometimes you just gotta not pick the white one. <laughs> Did you hear about the Hubble? It's fixed. NASA made this big declaration. Hey, we got the thing fixed. You know, it's like, okay, fucking. Well, was it, wait, wait. I wasn't going to fix broke? it. It broke. Hubble, Hubble, Hubble telescope broke. That's the one that's up there. Yeah. In the, you know, <laughs> up in the. Is it in the Arctic? Uh, it's just really high up because obviously space is fake. So it's like just, you know, you can't see it. It's high enough to you. You can't see it. But okay. they built a thing for us out of money we gave them and sent it up there. And then after like, you know, 30 30 years it breaks. It's a fucking good run. It's 
And then Sorry. everyone's like, oh, it broke. We're going to have to make a new one. And they're like, just kidding. We fixed it, you know. So if you were worried about, you know, that fucking fake what is the, what I was going to say, what's the point of it? What, just to examine the, It looks the, at shit. I mean, what does a telescope heavens? do? Yeah. I mean, it looks at uh, the, you know, whatever you think is up there. Is there just like a it's dude? Stars. Like, is it like a lighthouse for space? Like, he's just yeah. a dude sitting in there with a light just like. No, I don't think. Well, I'm going to find it. No, I think no one's. A, I don't know what, but I'm going to find it. There's just dudes on Earth who've like never even been downwind of a vagina that look at a screen and it looks at stars and takes pictures and they go, hmm. You know what I mean? And they never find aliens, or they don't tell us. And then that's, it just says that. Insane. Yeah, I mean, like... How many trillions of dollars is that? Yeah, to look at, you to, know? To, why are we going to space? I don't see the point right now. It doesn't seem... I think I think we got too many issues here right now that we're, we're spending trillions of dollars trying to go to space for... What? Yeah, I mean, Richard Ranson already won. He was the first, like, cracked yeah. out billionaire. Didn't he just thing. break that? Did he actually go into space? I don't know. I saw a picture of him, like, in his little, like, future flight car, like, floating. Like, he looked like a gay wizard. You know, he's just like, ah, I did it. But I don't know what, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I lit a trillion dollars on fire. Exactly. Everyone's like, yeah, yay. It's like an episode of The it. Simpsons, dude. You know what I mean? It's just, like, crazy billionaire, like, ties himself to a rocket. You know, you're like. I, I guess understand. that's happening and that's okay, but like okay. I think we should get out of space. We should uh, unoccupy space. But China's gonna space hard. Go, dude. go for it, man. What I, I mean, what? True. You know. I exactly right. Bad, Why? bad real estate. Mad real estate. Yeah, they're like, Haha. if you can inhabit it. Yeah, that's a lot of work. But they're like, we live in China, so this is better, even though it's toxic air. Yeah. It's the same. Maybe their their lungs are gonna do better. Is Mars better there. than China? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> a, it might rough, be. It's a rough stance. So yeah, I mean, if you were fucking worried about the NASA, fucking, I just think it's funny I how they're like thing. Like I don't, I thought NASA wasn't even real anymore. I mean, I thought that was like, hey, we're not giving money to these guys anymore. It's all privatized. So, but I, I don't mean, know. they're definitely not flexing on these dudes that are just like building shit in their backyard, e- basically. Exactly. I mean, if you're like, if you're like a billionaire, right? You've got like a jillion good million dollars, right? You don't just like have. Rocket guys hanging out. You know what house. we need? We need the Germans back in NASA. Na- NASA. <laughs> oh, dude, you slipped and you're like NASA. Dude, you like were possessed for a second. That NASA, dude. I've never heard it pronounced that way. That's probably exactly. I'm gonna start saying it that that's way. That's how like Just what's his what's his name? Franz Ferdinand, whoever the fucking NASA. The guy who made the the, the Nazi rocket guy. Uh, what was his name? People are screaming at me right now. They're like, I've seen Joe Rogan like 157 times. Nazi rocket Warner guy. Warner von Braun. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. Warner von Braun. Yeah, that's probably how he said it. NASA. NASA. Yeah, hang the slowest Jew. <laughs> Everyone's talking about, then, talk about the hanging the slowest Jew thing, dude. I every time I drop back in on the Joe Rogan podcast, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's you know, it's a good podcast, but God damn, does he repeat himself? I mean, he is turning into like, too many episodes. The old dude yeah. that he's almost gonna have to cut like, it down to like one a week and just make it more exclusive. Yeah, I mean, the have you tried DMT meme couldn't be realer now, and it's like becoming more real because it's just like it? yeah, it's like. He's not just that he specifically keeps suggesting that, but it's just like that's how much he repeats himself. Like, I don't, I don't, just, I haven't listened to if it he gets on a, a thing all. like, oh, lately I'm into this type of coffee. He's going to talk to every guest about, have you tried Buffalo Trace? Have you tried Buffalo? Oh, you want some Buffalo Trace? It's like, dude, chill, suck in the dick, dude, Sh- chill out, Jay. You got two hundred <laughs> million dollars from Spotify. No, yeah, no, or three hundred. I thought it was only like thirty. Oh, I thought it was like three hundred. Oh, maybe it probably it's a lot I mean, it's a, it's enough it's enough it's enough grow your hair back you know what i mean like it's enough grow your hair back <laughs> dude what do you think of the richard sherman thing he went off he, i watched that video you sent me and i was like, like Whoa, screaming and like, yelling and yeah like, this yeah. looks like a, he went off it was not good the not, way a, he, not a good look <laughs> no bad luck bad luck um the way he attacked that door though it's a scary guy. Man. Matt, drunk, unstable, mentally was like breaking. Oh, the... yeah, he was very drunk. Oh, what is it over? Because, of course. He got a DUI. They... There was a hit and run involved. That happened. And, like, they had a phone call with the police where he was, like, I'm going to kill, like, threatening to kill himself. Oh, he, he like, uh, went cool. full. GTA like, 5, dude. Just, like. Wow. Just 
right off the cliff. Somebody like, just like throw him out, like, like snap him out of it. Some cops like ah, oh, chasing him with the gun. They're like, get it, get it. They're like, get it. What? Oh, get the thing in the trunk. Runs over the fat cop. Runs over the trunk. Gets it. Pulls out a football and throws it. He catches it. And he's like, oh, snaps out of it. He's like, holy shit, where am I? And everyone's like, Jesus, Richard. He's like, I didn't know where I was. He's holding the football, crying. He's like, I didn't realize I was doing. He's rocking back and forth. People are like recovering from bullet wounds. He bit a mailman. You know, like a fucking beast. You know, he's holding the football. Like I didn't even know. And the who's the white black guy who's their quarterback comes around he's like Oakley Doakley what have you been up to bud who's their quarterback Jerry Jimmy Garoppolo Jimmy no for the Seattle Seahawks who's the, oh. the black quarterback oh. who's actually a white guy <laughs> yeah he comes out of the corner he's like well gee sh- Jiminy Liminy Miminy what are you up to Richard B- what's up Richard what do you call Richard if they're Bill Bill Dick? what Rick Dick Richard's Dick Richard. Yeah, I think it's Bill. It's Dick. Bill Sherman. Bill, what Bill is William. Fucking wibbly wobbly are you doing in the streets? He's holding the football crying. And he's like, get back in your Why cage. is he? Why is he? And Bill, Bill Carroll comes out in like a chair. He's like, get in the cage. And they put him in the cage and then they ride off and they lose a Super Bowl or don't go. You know, you know he hasn't been on the Seahawks for oh yeah true. quite some yeah, time. He's, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in San Francisco, huh? That's yeah. why I said the well, correct would, quarterback. He would still have to intervene because that's, you know, like it's like his guy. Yeah, like, what are true. you doing? Yeah. Yeah, terrifying. Terrifying guy. That would be scary to have to deal with something like that. Well, I mean, the 10 out of 10, that's why I don't fuck giant black football players. <laughs> you know? I don't get in like there's, long-term there, relationships. There's a long with NFL list of reasons, <laughs> but that one's yeah, right that's, at the top. I mean, before it's kind of gay is it just sees you're terrifying. It's like the same reason I That's don't scary. I don't fuck bears. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just must. I mean, like, damn. I like imagine being a girl. That's like you're just like you're dating a ant of like a, a. It's like dating a cougar or dating a like yeah, a velociraptor. Yeah. It's like he might snap. You know, he might yeah, fucking freak out and punch C- a guy at C- Buffalo C- Wild Wings. CTE's a crazy bitch. Yeah, and that's and that's the first thing I saw when he when he's like <laughs> like just like going Hulk mode. I'm like. Oh, someone got a little bumpies on his head, dude. <laughs> someone has bumpies on his head, dude. His brain's like, I'm sick. You know what I mean? Like, that's, ooh, shit. Gonna use weapons on someone. That's you like, know? that's the scariest part. Yeah. Chris Benoit just. Yeah, what? Sl- didn't Chris Benoit, isn't he the one that killed his wife and kid and then killed himself, right? Is that like a, a, a WWE menu wrestler? item on like, <laughs> top of China? Like, what is it? Chris Benoit? That sounds delicious. What is that? Google Chris Benoit. He's a WWE fighter. Or oh, w- Chris Benoit? Chris Benoit. Oh, Chris. No. <laughs> Benoit. Okay, I'm like. Chris Benet? <laughs> is it how, how long in the microwave? What? It sounds delicious. Is it drinkable? Chris is it Chris Benoit? Chris Benoit. Okay. <laughs> Chris, Chris Benoit? I'm like, ooh. Ooh, yes. It's five of them. And, how big are they? And what variant of yeah. the wonton oh my, is that? Do you that? have soy sauce? <laughs> What did he do? He got CTE and went crazy, or is he dead? I think he killed his whole family oh. and then killed himself. <laughs> oh. Chris Benoit. Wow, that still sounds so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> wow. Is it is B-E-N-W-A-Y? I want it to be spent that. Oh, it's no, no, ben- no, no. Benoit. Oh, he's French? Yeah, Benoit. Benoit? Chris Benoit. Yeah. Oh, man. Bro. Benoit. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. He, he. Like, Ooh. Yeah. Okay. CT, so you can see it in his face. You dude. can see it in his face. You can dude. see it in his face that you... he doesn't know what oh, real life is. Look at him, dude. He's oh like... no, that's a that's a very fucked up individual. He is looking everywhere. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, he's like, wow, and it just, the... yeah. Uh, so he killed his whole family. I think so. Just put killed family. I bet I mean, tell I don't, don't want to. <laughs> No, he... son killed wife. Okay, it's yeah, so no, Google's he did. like, yeah, yeah it, he, did. he did it. <laughs> yeah, Google's like, no, did. It's, he did it. Uh, yeah, no. double murder and suicide. That's um, that's CT. Okay, that dude's been thrown around the was thrown around the ring so mm-hmm. much and stuff, and it's just like, just snapped. Has to be, like, oh, I'm sure there's painkillers involved. I mean, the dude probably had over them. a three day period. Ooh. It's like it's hard. You can't even almost make fun of it. So like he killed one like, of them and was like, "Oh fuck!" And then like l- was with them for a right. couple days. Like, "Oh, I accidentally killed your mom last night." And then just like, "I have to kill the kid." Okie dokie. Well, now oh, I know about okey-dokey. Chris Benoit. <laughs> Liked you better when I thought your name was a food. <laughs> Anyways, did you so know that if you castrate yourself, your DNA ages slowly? 
Let it because it because because it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't recycle, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't I don't, recycle? I don't know. I figured if even even your DNA comes from your DNA. They castrated a bunch of what was it gerbils or something or mice? Oh, good god! Some animals, you know, they castrated. So they're just, I mean, oh, to be a scientist. Like, <laughs> rough day at the office. Had to cut the nuts off ten thousand gerbils to see if they aged slower. Honey, you need a new job. <laughs> That's so sad. You need a new job. You get paid $26,000 yeah. a year. <laughs> You're just cutting this. the nuts off gerbils. But they found that without the, the, you know, the fucking, the good bits, the bits. The bits, dude. They didn't age as slow. Not forever. So if we want to become vampires, we have to basically remove our nuts. like Or at least live a little longer. But like, so castrados, you'd like, why isn't there castrados left? Like, those dudes were like... Getting the snips in back in the day, you would think there'd be a lot of people around like that. But I don't know if it, yeah, this doesn't. What if you, yeah, if you, if you're like trying to max out being a human as long as you fucking can, take your balls, you take your balls, you get castrated. So, I'm assuming, I mean, when you castrate a female, well, that's got to be like really invasive. They gotta go I mean, but wouldn't that's kind of weird too, because wouldn't kind of the same thing just be like getting a vasectomy because you're cutting off the, yeah. you're cutting off your like. There's not much connected from the old testicles up. I don't think I'm going to do right? that, by the way. Are you going to do that? Me? Yeah. I would probably do it like within the next five years, to be yeah, honest. I guess if you're like shooting yourself up with all the other shit. I have no like desire. I still don't have any desire to have kids. Yeah, I just don't want to be that like, you know when you fix a dog and they're like, Ooh. I don't think it works. Well, see, I don't think it works that way. So maybe this is tied into that because I don't think you power down. Like you, you don't. I feel like. I don't yeah. think you lose like. Plus, I feel like if you're going to clip it, take them all. Take them out. You know what I mean? Right? No. No? Is no one doing that? I think it's part of the appeal to, you know. Because if you're going to, like, okay, they're not they're not making stuff, take the whole thing, right? Or do you probably need to still make, you still probably do something, huh? You probably still make testosterone and stuff. Really? Yeah. You don't got to, like, I think you still got to get shoot, shoot. There's people just sh- scream. People with vasectomies listening right now and be like, these guys are fucking idiots. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not doing shit. I'm not, like, getting snipped up, dude. Oh, yeah, I would do it just for the sheer just... So. Safety ass. Hot loads till the day I die. Dude, dude. Bam. Kabam. Oh, Kapow, dude. Oh, yeah. Because I want to know that the might moment. be bad. Why? Then it's not as entertaining. Yeah. Or if I like have a kid when I'm like 65, that would be not chill. That's not chill. Yeah. That's bad, not chill. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I would I would do it sooner than later. I probably should. I feel like if I went to go do it, the doctor would tell me no, right? Most doctors probably wouldn't even agree to do um, it, right? No, I think it's not it's as reversible, big of a deal. Right? It's, I think it's more reversible for men. Hmm. But I don't know. I might be speaking out of my ass. I've never. You, you think know. insurance will cover it? Yes. Really? Yeah, you, I think dudes can just do that. Really? Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. Wow, dude, we're the best. Yeah, yeah. Really? I can give him a dick cut for free. Oh. I can't get I can't get therapy for through insurance, but I can get my dick cut. You can't get therapy through. I don't know if I can. I you probably looked, can. Probably, you probably can. just real cut rate. Just like right, yeah, a they dude in a, the room. Like there's a me. liquor I'm store. Like, figure it out. There's you know? a liquor store, a gun store, and then the therapy office. Yeah, church like, across the street, and she's like, "All right, well, figure it that out." That would be. You know? And see, that's what. Yeah. No, you have to go to the Saint Catholics. Blah 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 blah. And I'm gonna be like, they're gonna tell me to find God, and I'm gonna go. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're gonna walk into a room and it's gonna be like a naked guy shaped like an egg and he's gonna be like desire is the root of all suffering and you're like, uh what? And then he's just gonna like blow a candle out and like fifty dollars and you're like, oh, no, you know, fifty dollars like, fifty dollars. Like, this is not covered by insurance. Uh someone at work called a ping pong table a bing bong table. And I can't stop thinking about that too, and I was like, Ooh <laughs> Bing Bong table. <laughs> oh <laughs> I was telling Janelle today, and I probably I wanted to bring it up to you today. Um, guy at work, uh, who you know, I won't blast him, but you're, you're going to know exactly who it was. He yeah. stands right next to me all day. Um, it's like, hey, have you tried that liquid death stuff? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a canned water, right? He's like, you know, but have you, have you had it? I'm like, I mean, I've had water. And he, I, it was too long of a conversation for <laughs> what we were discussing, right? I mean, liquid death is a brand... It's water. Canned water. It is not carbonated. They don't add anything to it. It's just, it's just water. They put it in an aluminum can. And he's like, I want to try that stuff. You know, like this new, it's this new, you know, I want to try that. And I'm like, do you know what that is? And he's like, yeah, it's water. And I'm like, all right. So it's not new. 
in any way, this is not a product. This is water in a can. And he's like, yeah, I know, I know, but I, I want to I wanna get some. <laughs> and I'm like, it's just my blood. I'm like, ah, I think this is how my ear got clogged. Like, I'm just like, just like <laughs> why is this? Why are we still having this fucking conversation? So I'm trying to exit the conversation gracefully. But I just, I was dumbfounded by the, like, we're, it's water. That's the power of marketing. It, yeah. so Because it, it's not the same. Yeah. it's. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, got a it's label. Not, it's not the same, man. But it's I mean, like, same. I want to try it. Blew my mind. Blew my fucking goddamn, blew my balls off. My mind exited my body. I died. I was reincarnated. And I was like, what, dude? You want to try water? Go for it, dude. Like, call up Culligan. There's tons of people. I'll spray water all over your face, dude. Like. Blew my, blew my mind, so I just want to tell you that and tell other people that's, that. That's lovely. That's the power of marketing. <sighs> They're sponsoring like that's big it. podcasts, dude. They're that's, like a legit sponsor. They're so killing it in the, in the. I mean, it is. I guess it's more satisfying to do the <laughs> than to twist the cap yeah, off. It must so be. then you you crunch the can. I don't know. It's cool. It seems Maybe wasteful. Have, have you tried it? <laughs> have you tried? <laughs> have you tried? Like, no, I've never. Like, I've Jesus. never. I don't go. Maybe it's because the aluminum is more recyclable than recycle recycle recyclable 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 than the plastic. Is that the appeal? Maybe uh, is that their appeal? Is that? I uh, think it's just like you're drinking beer and then like you throw one of those in the mix. You drink a big water and then you keep going. So it's like you don't look like the guy like oh well, hold on let me go to the kitchen and then you get you fill the glass of water up and you spill some on your khakis and you come back out and you're already the guy with awkward red facial hair and then now you're like wet khakis and you're taking a water break and they're like dude someone was just like i'm an entrepreneur liquid death you know don't look like an asshole it's, yeah you're like it's a cooler vibe you just you get one of those also okay. out of the cooler and crack it and it looks okay. like a beer so you're not like or like if you're like a uh, christian dude at a party you know what i mean you're like hey bros and you're like you brought like a boomerang to the party for some reason you're like let's throw the boomerang around he's like yo dude it's like a 1500 square foot backyard like chill with the boomerang you know what i mean he's like i don't drink he's like we have liquid death he's like skippity do i can be in the pictures Woo! you know hey has like has like two liquid death and he's like fuck pussy just starts cussing and acting drunk like someone tell him it's water you know what i mean like that guy could fucking boomerang out of here it's for that good (laughs) good Thanks, Liquid Death, for making all parties better. Um. <laughs> I have a note in here that says, do you ever meet someone you know their wife is fat without no, without <laughs> meeting their wife? <laughs> but it's a real thing. I mean, have you ever met someone you're like, I know you've got a fat wife at home? Yep. Yeah. I know. Nothing wrong with a fat wife at home. That's fine. <laughs> like Connor, you know, uh, Connor, okay. but yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I can <laughs> see someone and be like, "Oh, if, yeah, if, you know. yeah, you're totally fine with it." Just huge, big, fat just, wife. big fat wife. She's just huge, sweet as can be, dude. I'm sure she's just you know picking daisies and just like, "Oh, my ankles are," but like, she's fucking stacked up, dude. Yeah, she's like, you know. Yeah, I definitely know that feeling. I've seen people like that. And you kind of look like you'd have a skinny wife. Do you, I see? You, I think I look like wife. I'd have a fatter wife no, than me. No, really, you no, look like I, I no, look like I'd have a skinny wife. You you look like a dick. You definitely are shallow as fuck. Oh, okay, but see, but see, I feel like I look like I couldn't get the skinny wife. Like I look like I would get oh. the the big like di- like almost butch dikey like gnarly big Ooh. chicks. You know, like the chicks that are like the kind of pushing lift. six Looks like they lift. Push yeah, pushing six foot. They're like over two. That would be weird. And like, that would be you know, a skeptical mean eyebrows. That, they, yeah, they that look would like be. a jack o' lantern. Like, I can see I that, but more in like a movie she drives setting. like a Lincoln Navigator and like <laughs> kicks me a bunch. You know what I mean? Like that. She's like a big Puerto Rican bitch, like or Samoa. She's yeah. half Samoan, Samoan and Puerto Rican, and her name's like all consonants. And she hundred like, percent <laughs> parks like this in yeah, parking no, lots. Like just, she just one wherever. wheel up on the lawn. Yeah, she's like, I'm half Puerto bullshit. Rican. I'm part on the lawn. I'm part in the street. I could see that too. And you guys scream. All yeah, the time. we're screaming Always at each other constantly. Like, like right that... now, she's screaming from out there while yeah. we're recording. Like, get the fuck out of here! You've been there too fucking long. And yeah, like I'm just like, mm, you ever okay. see that gelato commercial where the Italian people are screaming at each other? It's the most racist, sh- hilarious <laughs> shit ever. It's like, da 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 da, some fucking chocolate brands gelato, and it's like these two fucking Italian people like, da, 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 like throwing <laughs> shit, and they're like, the company was just like. Gelato, Italian people, they make gelato. Look, they're fighting. They're this like, is about as happy this as this has can be. chocolate in it. It's like the guy's like trying to leave. He's like, oh, they're fighting. It's Italy. Yeah. And then they're just like, it's $6. And then they're out. And I was just like, 
are Italian people okay with this? Wine bottles flying in the Yeah, they're like, you guys hit your women, right? You like hit them and fuck them and make them pasta. You know what I mean? Do a little hitting and some fucking. It's like why Mario's wanted in 17 states. (laughs) You'll never get Jimmy. That's why he stayed in Yoshi's world. Like he's just wanted for rape in Mississippi. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, fucking Italians, bro. See, I think that's all my notes here. What else we got to talk about here? You hit all my points. I have, <laughs> I have a couple of underdeveloped ones. It's like the Gay Olympics shopping cart test and the um, um, racist old dog story. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably save the racist old dog story for a long time, or for an, for a long time, for another episode because there were some parts I needed to more accurately recall. But long and short of it, it was like a story about my dad's old racist German Shepherd. Um, but it's yeah, we'll save that one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to space out the stories with that. Yeah, dude. That's all I got. I didn't do anything exciting this week. Well, yeah, I did. I went to Big J Okerson. That was How hilarious. was it? Is it like actually funny? It was very funny. All, like almost all crowd work. Um, just really? A, just amazing. But good. So funny. Did it feel like he came unprepared, though? Like, is this just crowd yeah. work? How, we're it's not, what he does. It's, it's not like three hours of crowd work. No, though. it's like it's like 40 minutes of crowd work with, okay. with some stuff sprinkled in. Like he would pull off of crowd work and tell a small sto- side story of his own. It was funny. And who opened? Someone local? No, I can't remember the guy's name, but he was pretty funny too. Brought, he brought a guy. He was like a white trash, like, yeah, trailer park southern okay. guy. And, Did he wear the gloves? No. Jay? Oh, Jay, yeah. Of course Cut he off did. gloves? Yeah. He yeah. handed me a shot with the glove hand. Really? You took yeah, a shot with took Big a shot with him. Wow. Just by chance. Because he, they, they, he came into the bar and they all ordered shots. And then one of the girls was like, oh, I don't drink tequila. You're like he, really checking off and he's like, list he's like, he's like, oh, okay. And he just like, he's like, you want this? Because I'd already introduced myself to him or whatever. Or said, ah, oh, you're funny. And he's like, you want this? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, you know, I wasn't going to say no. You should be like, I sucked off Doug at Stanhope in Las Vegas one time. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't really. I don't like to budge. There's like seven people around him. He was very so nice, very, very nice gentleman. Like he was very like everyone that's like good job. He's just like oh thanks man. Like it was a very like genuine calm. And if you've ever watched Legion of Skanks or anything, they're fucking wild as fuck. But he's not a bunch. He's dude, not. No. He's not as wild. But he was just someone very else calm. told me to listen to very nice guy. Um, Come Town. Yeah, I think I've With heard Nick parts. Mullen and Is someone that Nick else. Mullen? Yeah. So he was on that Tim Dillon thing that I wanted to show you. Yes. So I actually probably will check that, that out. I probably will check that out because I didn't know it was Nick Mullen. Um, now, yeah. I, now I will. Someone at work recommended it. And I, I was like, we, we, he's like, hey, you should, should listen to Come Down. They're funny. I was like, you're trying to say I'm not funny. So again, that's I'm taking true. it personally for I mean, no reason. But, yeah. um, but I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. But I didn't know it was Nick Mullen. Um, yeah. That's dope. That guy. So yeah, check that out. Let me know. What else? Are you going to fucking want to watch some fights? I don't want to go to that thing. Don't. I'm just kidding. I would say go, but I mean, I mean, I would, we what? both have friends that will be there, but like, I wasn't invited, so I'm not going. Right. I wasn't. You want to crash it? Yeah. I mean, I I feel like it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but also that's a go. dick move, no matter what to I do. I feel like Brett like, sometimes though. I'm just like, I don't want to go because I don't want to go, and is that okay? Yes. That's what I. That's how I've learned to live my life. It feels good, but it feels so bad. But I know it's the right thing to do. Like, were you fully dedicated to going in the first place? Were you like, yeah, I'm going to be there for no, sure? No, it was like, like a Facebook a- event I ignored until uh, Janelle was like, hey, that thing is on there Saturday. You go, man. And I'm like, oh, I made I don't plans. think any of those people are going to hold it against you anyways, to be honest. True. Because a lot of them are the same way, I would imagine. Right. When they want to do things, they're like, I'm staying home today. I don't. That's the way I am. I don't think people should be mad at people for yeah. that. Yeah, I just want to do what I do every Saturday and do the podcast that's and watch. True, UFC. you don't you don't do anything. I really so don't that's, do that's anything. That's not true. I go to work. No, I do, I just I got a kid. I'm strategic about kid. what I do. Yeah, yeah but yeah. what I do is revolving around what she's doing. Right now, now you she's... don't now see. Here's where you just got yourself in a little okay. bit of trouble. Oh, f- I fucked up. You I don't one you foot over don't the have your kid tonight. I know. That's the other. So right, but see, what would be better if I had my kid? I would actually be more likely to go. Truthfully, because oh, they, they have kids, oh, and we want their kids, true. our kids, to date. To mingle. This is no. We want them to date. Oh, okay. This that is like sense. a fully Indian arranged marriage. Perfect. Here, with the cow, with the bells. As it should be. Yeah. You, they cut the head off the goat, and <laughs> she bleed. She her she menstruates on the goat. Oh. And he comes in with the bells, and the guys have the smoke, the colored smoke. And then they like they harvest all the hot dogs from the land that, that's planted. <laughs> And that Seven Eleven headquarters, like this, like beam of light, kind of down, and it like projects 
like lie under the hot dogs and they bring them all forth and then like they take the blood and but that's how they get married in India. And so we're we're okay. gonna it's that not was, we're not doing that, but God, that was, was an example so of like racist. We're trying to <laughs> hook the two kids up. Not not right now. We're not like you kids fuck, but like uh, we're like you kids hang out. Let's get so, to know each other. Yeah. He's very uh svelte, Aryan, curly haired kid. Not that that has anything to do with it. Like, oh, you got a dirt bike and blonde hair. He's very Chad looking. You know what I mean? He's going to be on the football team and, like, beat up dude. Slaughter puss. Yeah. Sla- just, just. Yeah, just. Oh, just. Yeah, you can you can tell, like, when a kid's going to fuck up some vag. It's probably, like, illegal to say that, right? I'm yeah, like, we should not be. Yeah, you can just, like, look. This is bad. <laughs> yeah, the, this is yeah bad. here's the joke. You ever look at a kid and you're like, yeah. man, that kid's going to fuck someday. <laughs> That's probably like borderline not okay to say, right? Nothing. But it feels the, less the, fucked up to say that about a kid, a boy, to be like, you're going to go back. Yeah, of course, double standard. Obviously, don't say that to a little girl. Mm-hmm. I'll fight you in a safe way. But like, yeah. <laughs> you can just be like, that kid's going to be stud. <laughs> Leave it at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I fucking dare you. Walk up to, if you, see, if you see a fucking mom getting avocados with a hot kid, just walk up and be like, your kid looks like he's going to fucking... Just destroy pussy later. <laughs> like, cute, cute fucking kid, but no, like, I'm serious. Like, that kid's gonna fuck double, double fucking U, double CK, fuck all around the town, dude. That kid's gonna die of advanced chlamydia. Like, he's gonna spread diseases. She's like, okay, okay, okay. Jesus, Jesus we get Christ. it. Yeah, he's a handsome young man. Yeah, Jesus. No, no, like, that kid is gonna snort blow <laughs> off, like, Asian hookers and then just, like, get AIDS. Just like, okay. For fun. Yeah, for fun. He's just going to fucking con- do it contract He's AIDS and know. win a triathlon, dude. That kid's going to put beer in his cereal. The kid's going to have white sunglasses on when he w- gets out of bed. White sunglasses. <laughs> just, oh, dude, like shaved one side of the head. Like roll out of bed into the bed of a truck and then like backflip into the driver's seat because, of course, his truck doesn't have a roof. And then just, bruh, the truck's been running overnight. Like it's it the truck's already stop. running when he wakes up. Gotta go to Tiffany's house, you know. And I'm just scared about that. Like picks up Tiffany and goes to high school, and then just like fucks all his teachers. Like that kid's. She's like, "All right, cops are here, guy." And he just <laughs> puts the avocado in the bag and fucking just goes her way. But like you know, I think that's the thing. I think we're gonna like try and get to the hangout. Okay, cool. You could. Yeah, she you, was. You, home, you didn't I have to go. You, did, you didn't have to come back to the original point. I mean, if she was you home, I would go left. to the party. Is what I'm saying. But like, I just feel like I want to stay home. That's fair. Drink this I gotta play on the bayou. Yeah, are you gonna go home and play on the bayou? Or are you gonna come here and play on the bayou? <sighs> I don't know. Eh, eh, Not important. Eh, eh, eh. Nobody cares. All right. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, see you next week, and thanks see for listening. If you still are weak. <laughs>